Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, listen, I've got to really, I've got to make a kind of like an apology video, um, and I've got to let you guys know what I know, what I now know. So, I'm sure a lot, a, a lot of you have been asking me questions um, via email and things like that, and I know I haven't responded to them. And I've not responded because I wanted to make sure that I was given the right answers to you. And so I thought I might as well make a video. So I did a review of the Chroma Flow, of the Dermachrome Flow 150 set not that long back. And when the set came out, I was dead excited about it. Um, I love the set. I still do love the set. I love the colors that are in the set. Um, I think overall that 150 set is a beautiful set and it's excellent. Um, so let me just kind of like backtrack slightly here. Every single time I do a review for a company, if a company reaches out to me or I have a bit of a relationship with a company and I you know, say to them, have you got anything new coming out? And they say, yeah, we've got this and they'll send it to me. When I very, very first started doing my reviews, all I would do is I would go around the internet and I would do a little bit of research on the product and I would obviously give my own opinion and plus research that I had found from other pages and I very soon realized that that was causing problems because I would write something that I didn't really know 100% was true I was just picking it up from other sources and I would have a lot of you guys saying Harry that's not right it's this or whatever and after that I I decided that going forward for every single product I review I will contact the company and I will ask them to give me their marketing fact sheet or just supply me with the information pertaining to that particular product so therefore anytime I wrote about it or spoke about it in a video I knew that the information I was giving you was direct from the company and so if there was any quarrel or any dispute or anything like that I could turn around and say to you no listen I have got that directly from the company I don't know where you're getting your information from but this is what I have direct from the company so that was the way I always did my reviews going forward it's it still to this day it's exactly how I do it uh, I want to make sure that for every single review I give you I am giving you the honest truth exactly how I find the product and the information that comes from the companies. <clears throat> when the 150 set came out from Derwent, there wasn't really a lot for me to know because I'd already done the 24 set review whenever they came out with, when Derwent came out with the 12 and 24 sets, that was when they first introduced them to America. And then, um, then they came out with the 36 and 72 set uh, and 48 set as well. But like the 72 set was the was the next big set that they came out with. And I reviewed that set as well. And so when the 150 set came out, other than showing you the, the palette, the additional colors, what is new, what, what the additional 76 colors were over the 72 colors, or sorry, 78 colors were, over the, the 72 that were currently available, there wasn't really much more I needed to add to the, the, the review. But nevertheless, you know, I, I always ask, you know, is there anything I need to know about the product and what have you? And it was pretty much no. Uh, I think on, on the email that I got from now i will never disclose conversations i have with companies to you guys but nor would i ever disclose personal conversations i have with you guys to anybody else it's all personal and i keep it to myself but um i'm, I'm almost positive that when i got the information about the derma chrome flow it was just like you know uh core size barrel size stuff like that stuff i already knew uh, and stuff you guys already knew as well. So I went on and done the review. Now, we are being told that 
only 100 of the coloured pencils in the 150 set will be sold open stock. Now, when I first when I first heard that, when I first I first seen somebody leaving a message on my in the comment section of the video, and when I first seen it, I thought, what what where are they getting this information from? That is ludicrous. I've just you know I've not long spoke to Dermot about this set. Why? Where's this coming from? So I actually contacted the person who I speak to at Derwent and I said to them, listen, I don't know where these people are getting the information from, but people are under the impression that um, only a hundred colours are going to be sold up in stock and that there's an extra 50 that are in that 150 set that are not going to be available up in stock. And I actually said to them, you know, I... I really don't know where they're getting this information from, but never in a million years would Derwent go and do something like that. They sell all their products open stock, so I know that this is something that has come from somewhere else. But I, nevertheless, I need to try and rectify it and set people's minds at rest. The response I got back was very, very cryptid. Uh, or cryptic, sorry. Cryptid is not the word I was looking for. Cryptic. Uh, it was... It never answered it and it never denied it. It, it kind of like didn't really say one way or the other what was happening. Um, and I thought that was really dodgy. Or not dodgy, but I just thought it was a little bit um, vague. I didn't understand why that they couldn't just turn around and go, Ah, Harry, that's ridiculous. We're selling, you know, with every like, like with every single set that we have ever produced, these are going to be sold up in stock as well. Now... I have since spoke to Derwent again and I have asked them to please supply me with the official line from Derwent with regards to this 100, 150 set. But I've still yet to get a reply. And I think one of the reasons why um, they're not replying to it is because they don't want to give the they don't want to give the answer that we all now know. But nevertheless, I feel responsible. So I feel like I have done a review of this product. You guys have gone out and bought the 150 set. 150 set. I know a lot of you have done it because you have told me you've done it. And I now feel responsible that you have bought 150 coloured pencils, of which only 100 you're going to be able to buy open stock. And if you want to get that 150 set again... You know, if you want to get those colours again, you're going to have to go out and buy another 150 set. And that is absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. I don't know where or who at Derwent thought that this was a good idea. Uh, I just have no idea. Now, is there is there some way that this is going to change in the future? I have got no way of telling that. I have got no way of telling whether Derwent is just going to stick buy their guns and only sell 100 open stock or if maybe they get too many complaints down the line that they're going to then start to feel the pressure and have to sell the pencils open stock. In Derwent's defence, I am well aware of the fact that there are pigments that are being um, discontinued and colours that we're losing because it is becoming more and more difficult to source the pigments that are needed for certain colours. Um, it's just the materials are just running out. It's as simple as that. And so companies, I, I, I know this, I know the companies uh, within the art world are all struggling to, uh, to keep up demands with the, um, the colours that they need to provide to their clients um, but that being said this is not something that's just happened in the last couple of weeks this scarcity and uh, issue surrounding uh, pigment sourcing has been a problem now for a good couple of years a good few years that I know of in any case uh, it could be much longer than that but it's it's certainly not something that's just happened in the last few weeks and so if that were the case, I don't understand why Derwin couldn't have just brought out the 100 set. 
because I think that still would have been a step up. It still would have been a welcome set. It still would have been a set that you guys and me would have endorsed and enjoyed using. I understand that they want the 150 set to compete against Prismacolor's 150 set, but Prismacolor sell their colors open stock. Now I know, again, there are issues sometimes with getting Prismacolor open stock colors, but at least they're available. You know, you might have to wait a couple of weeks, but at least they sell them. Dermot just flat out, aren't, flat out are not selling so, some colors. Now, in the email I sent off to them, I've asked them, can they please provide for me a list of the colors that they're not selling open stock? So as soon as I get that list, I will, of course, update you guys and let you know. But I feel responsible for people who have gone out and bought this set. And all I can do is apologize from the bottom of my heart. If I had the money to give you, to um, reimburse you for that, I... I would do. I just feel terrible that people have gone out and spent that amount of money on a set that they're just not going to be able to, you know, when you run out of maybe five colours, you're just not going to get those colours back again. The only way you can get them back is by going out and buying another 150 set. It's as simple as that. Before the, before the pandemic, happened Dermot had a third party marketing group and and I used to deal with them uh, that group went into went bust because of the pandemic uh, they obviously weren't able to do anything and so therefore I think Dermot were forced into doing their own marketing and they and they did that um, you know come this was all around the light fast range and stuff like that and if you cast your mind back to the Dermot light fast that took a year and a half for that full set to eventually actually reach us came out with a 36 set then it came out with a 72 set and then it came out with a 100 set but it was like within six month increments uh, every six months it would come out with this new set and a lot of that was down to the light fast testing that they had to do with the ASTM over in Arizona I know that you would just think that but I thought about that back then and I thought why would they not just wait wait until they had all their ducks in a row and then just release the set why why did they do it like that because up until they released the 36 set um, you know nobody was nobody was any of the wiser as to what the Dermot Lightfast pencil was or anything like that. Once we all got our hands on it and we loved it so much, we wanted more and we had to wait these six months for the 72 set and then the 100 set. Then if you cast your mind back to the Dermot Artist set where they had the 120 set and they reduced that back down to the 72 set because they said that, that was they weren't selling the uh, the additional pencils in the... Um, in the four, like the additional forty-eight pencils, they they weren't selling them um, open stock. And I actually sent an, an email off to them and saying, "Please don't do this." One of the biggest reasons why you're not selling the hundred and twenty set is because you're only selling it in a wooden box set. If you sell it in a tin format, like you do so many of your others, you might find that the cre the the sales increase of that one hundred and twenty set. But obviously. They had their own reasons and they wanted to reduce the set in any case. Which was why then, when they came out with the 150 set of the Derwood Chroma Flow, as much as I was overjoyed, I was equally kind of like, well, they've just they've just reduced the 120 set. And the reason was that the, the colours weren't selling or, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever the real reason was they had just reduced the set and now they're bringing out 150 set and like I say whilst I was over the moon about it and really happy about it it now turns out that only 100 of these colours are going to be able to be purchased open stock and I just feel like an idiot I really do I feel like an absolute idiot and all I can do is apologise as and when I get more information from Dermot I'll let you know um Here's here's two things to remember about this channel. 
and the way I run this channel. You guys are my priority. The people that watch these videos are my priority. And bringing the truth and pure honesty to you is paramount. That is the only thing I am concerned about when I run this channel. The other thing is that I will never ever um, run down or slag off a company for, say like I, I get a product and I review the product and it's not that great. I'm not then going to go out and slag off the company. I've watched many reviews where reviewers will go, oh, I hate that company because they've done this, that and the other thing, blah, blah, blah. I don't agree with that. It's not the way I want to do things. And I never have done that uh, about another company. Um, I absolutely love Dermot. Dermot has a, a really close spot in my heart. I live only an hour's drive away from Derwent. Um, it's a beautiful, in Keswick it's beautiful, but the company itself has been around for a very, very long time and uh, and it, it does warrant a certain element of respect. But I just think that in the last six or seven years, there's been a change happening at Derwent and I don't know what it is or why it's happened or, or, or how it's happened or anything, but it just seems that it's not it's not all for the best the changes that are being implemented are not all for the best and i know that some of those changes will be because of what i've just said there earlier on about pigment source and about getting making sure that they can get these pigments so that they can create these beautiful colors that they have provided for us but um there's there's other elements that have changed that i can't understand for the life of me but because i'm not a business person i've no idea about business or anything like that i'm not going to criticize something i don't understand but what i do understand is art supplies um with the exception of acrylics and oils pretty much any other art supply other than those two those two mediums i pretty much understand them um and i just can't for the life of me think why Durban thought that this was a good idea or that they were going to be able to do this and not get some sort of backlash from it. I really, it, it boggles my mind beyond belief. Anyway, guys, I hope I've answered any of the que any of you guys that have been asking me questions and I do apologize uh, for not replying to you sooner but i wanted to make sure that the information i was giving you was absolutely correct and for those of you that went out and bought 150 set on the back of my review again i am deeply deeply sorry i really am i never knew i never even thought to ask to be honest with you if these pencils were all going to be open stock it never in my wildest dreams occurred to me that they would sell a hundred set or a hundred pencils open stock and just decide out of 150 pencils we'll grab 50 and we won't sell them open stock it never in my wildest dreams occurred to me that that would be a thing the open stock issue around the 150 set whenever i first did my review as far as i was concerned every single set the derwent have done has been open stock they've always been available open stock um and there's not a, there's not a lot of companies can boast that perhaps faber castell and karen dash are the only other companies that can boast that all of their products are sold open stock and available open stock um Obviously now for Derwent, this is the first product that they've released where this is not the case. But like I say, if there's any change, I will let you know. Um, I'm not suggesting that you bombard Derwent with complaints or anything like that. Please don't be doing that. And if you do feel the need to email Derwent, please be respectful. Please understand that the people on the other side of that 
that are going to be getting your email are not the decision makers. It's not them that have made this decision. And even if you were able to get hold of the person that made the decision, there could be a reason for it that we just have to accept. And it's as simple as that. Um, and it could be a source an issue or whatever. But until we know, please always remember to remain respectful towards the people uh, who you might be addressing at Derwent about this particular issue. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to go now. Um, I've actually been I'm in the middle of doing a fantastic little course thing for my Patreon subscribers. So, um, I've had to stop doing that so that I can come forward and make this video because it's it's important that I make the video and get the, the information out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. And like I say, all I can do is apologize from the bottom of my heart. I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video, which will be coming out very, very soon. And um, I hope you are all doing well. Thanks. Bye, guys.